Jello Beats, ah, ah. at me. And Chewy on some hot. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Rose Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we're going to be going for our first ever world record using the Night Witch to see how many Night Witches we can plant on the map at the same time. So in this video, I'm going to be doing it with Game Watchable YouTube. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's got a channel as well. He's way more popular than I am. I think he has around 12,000 subscribers. So big thanks to him for doing this video with me. And I will link his, uh, leave a link in the description with his channel so you guys can go and check him out as well. But this is, like I said, my very first world record attempt. We're going to do this and he's going to be using giants and tombstones as well and see how many night witches we can get going down here on the field. This is my first time, so I'm very excited. And let's see what we can do. As you see, we have Ice Spirit, Clone, Zap, Skeleton, just a whole bunch of different cycle cards to use until we get our Night Witch onto the map. And check this action out right here. If you guys did not know, here on the left side, as you can see, the Night Witch is going to that tower by herself. And check this out. I know I do have skeletons there, but a Night Witch left alone completely shreds the tower. It is insane to think about that. A four elixir card can shred a tower by herself and look how much health she still has going towards the king tower. So she's going to be really good and really tough to stop. Another thing that makes this challenge a little bit difficult on like compared to like a princess challenge or anything like that, the night witch is very versatile. She has, as you know, she's a melee troop, but she just spawns so many bats. So what's going to be the tough part here is killing the bats and Game Watchable has some zaps in his deck, which he's definitely going to need because when these Night Witches start stacking up, those bats are going to go berserk and there are going to be so many bats, we're going to run through those giants like nobody's business. So he has our tower down on that right side now. So we're going to exchange towers and try to get the other tower down as well and then start pushing towards the uh, King Tower once we head into overtime. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Is this the most broken legendary that has ever been released in Clash Royale ever? I think so, definitely. I mean, every other card has a cool feature, like, you know, the Bandit was super cool. The E-Wiz, when he first came out, I thought he was bad, honestly, but he actually is really good defensively, and everybody has him in all their decks now. I mean, Log is very, very good as well, but I think the Night Witch is the one card that is unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. I will do a Night Witch deck with her later this week, just so I can show you guys what I mean. And the deck that I said, I don't know if I've said this before in other videos, but I think she's going to be super deadly using her with the Golem Beatdown deck. Yes, you heard it. Golem Beatdown is going to become even more scary than it already is. I mean, how can you stop that? Think about it. How are you going to try and stop a Night Witch? If you play a uh, Ground Troop, the thing that's different between her and the regular Witch that I notice is that the regular witch shoots the air and the ground, but what she spawns is skeletons, so that's also on the ground. And since they are on the ground, you can play a Valk, you can play a Knight, a Mini P.E.K.K.A. You can easily shut down the witch, and you can even almost one-shot her, I think. But then you look at over here, you have the Night Witch, and look at this, she spawns bats. She is spawning bats, so that's absolutely insane. If you play your Valkyrie or Mini P.E.K.K.A. and she tanks a shot, her staff does so much damage, she will shred that tank that mini tank down really fast and she'll have four bats overhead and that thing will die instantly and then now you have a golem on your tower you've got night witch on your tower you've got bats on your tower and when she dies she spawns four bats so that's just absolutely crazy as you can see here now we're almost done with regular time and we are just pumping up this is my very first time like i said before and i did not realize how fast the elixir bar goes it is just always full as soon as you play something down it is always always full so we have so many pumps and the rage is going down. We've got our clone spell on standby, ready to use that once we get our night, which is going. We'll probably start it around two minutes. Yeah, we'll start it around two minutes just to get it going. Uh, I'm gonna let his giants roll towards my tower. I'm gonna have to because uh, if I don't, the night witches will shred them down. You will see the night witch is unbelievable and it will definitely be my favorite card in the game. Hopefully they don't nerf her. At least if they do, give it some time. I wanna see the meta change a little bit. It's gonna be interesting. Like Lava Hound Night Witch will be pretty deadly with the bats. I mean, how many times are you going to zap? You only have one zap. And even if you have Mirror, how many times are you going to do that if the bats continue to spawn and do so much damage? Their attack speed is also really fast. And we have so many pumps down on the map right now. This is getting excited. I'm super, super excited to be doing this. Let's see how many Night Witches we can get onto this map. Going down with our Rage. Two minutes left on the map. As you see in the back left there, his giant is starting to roll down our side of the map. I'm going to continue playing Elixir Collectors and Rages 
to get our elixir going and get ready to counter those giants. He has two giants, three giants, tombstone going down in the back left. Another pump going down. Look at this pump madness, rage madness. And now he has a fourth giant down, a fifth giant down. And now I'm going to start playing Night Witches. They will start taking on my pumps. Not to worry. We're going to have plenty of elixir. I'm not even worried about that. We currently have two Night Witches down on the map. They are doing work. And just look at the bats. There's two Night Witches only. And look at the bats. They're already starting to come. We've got four Night Witches down on the field. Let me try to keep track of this. I might lose count because the bats will be everywhere. So five Night Witches going down. Six Night Witches going down. And they are doing some serious work. I don't think they can die here. Yeah, they won't die because of skeletons. They'll be fine. And Rage going down. Ice Spirit. Night Witch going down again. Seventh Night Witch is down. Eighth Night Witch is down. And we are going towards this tower right now. I love the free spell and the zap. See that zap takes down those bats. That's a good thing. Trust me. If bats were not zappable, that would be the most broken card. Nine Night Witch is down. Ten Night Witch is down. Elixir Collector going down once again. And the Rage. And we've got all those bats on the field over there and look at them go crazy look at them go crazy 11 night witches 12 night witches we are heading towards that tower look at all those bats oh my goodness he has his giants coming down but they're not going to be able to do much and now we've got a clone so i think that's 24 and then oh my god i'm gonna have to recount that look at all those bats oh my goodness so it'd be 36 i think we got to 36 maybe 36 night witches that's how it works because you don't clone the clone so we had 36 night witches on the map that is my attempt at the world record. I do not know what the world record currently is right now, or if there even is one, but this is my shot at it. So you guys try this out yourselves if you want the Night Witch in the challenge, and see how many you can get and let me know. I want to know, and upload a video if you can. If you can't, it's alright, just let me know. I think it's pretty cool, and that's definitely my favorite world record as well. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys had fun. If you enjoyed that, go ahead and drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for some future daily Clash Royale content. I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!